Hey, hey, welcome to the table for a solo playthrough of Everdell and its expansion, uh, Belfair. So you'll notice on the board, I actually don't have like the big tree or even the Belfair board out here. Instead, I have the market off to the side. They have they give you a little market that isn't attached to the Belfair board. Um, just some save, saving some space. Even the Flower Festival, I just moved it on over. These special events, flinging them all over. So they are all up here. Just condensing the board a little bit. Um, we have a, uh, an AI player here. What's his name? Rugwart is our um, opponent. So they're tying up a couple spots. They're gonna build as I build these cards. So actually I get all the actions. I'm the only one doing actions per se. But every time I build something, so do they. So they're competing for different things and they're getting uh, a lot of points as well. So should be a close game. I have the Garland event out here or whatever they call it, Garland something or other, and they, uh, it tells us that whoever has the most destination spots is gonna get six points, and second most, if you have any, it will be three points. And I'm assuming we're both gonna have plenty of those. Those are fairly common. You can actually see uh, two of them on the board. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mixed up some of these. There's two from the base game. There's two from the uh, expansion. Uh, if you're not familiar with Everdell or even um, well, if you're not familiar with the expansion or even Everdell, uh, I'll just kind of walk you through here and there what I'm doing. But yeah, we uh, there's different objectives out here. So they're pre-printed on the board. Some of them it tells you uh, what I have to go for, what what uh, symbols in my cards I have to go for. I have to sign workers in those spots in order to activate different things. These are like basic ones on the board. I can sign one of my critters to those and get whatever's pictured. Or these four spots, which um, unfortunately I don't really care for the ones in the game right now, but I'll have to, they'll have to suffice. I'll have to make a way uh, to do that. There's also a market over there where I can get things at a whim. I can gain the things shown at the top, or uh, once I gain things, I can trade in order to get three victory points and two goods of my choice. Uh, trade whatever is pictured there if I move it down um, after I gain it. All right, um, I think we should just get started. Uh, I actually have the module the module where um, you have like special abilities, so I have two of these cards. So I will pick which one of those I want. I have five cards I start with, yep. So let's see what we got here. Um, platypuses, at the beginning of the game, I place five VP there, five coins. VP are coins, whoever has the most coins is the winner. I place five of them there, so I have a five head start. At any time, I can uh, go ahead and pay one of those to gain one good of my choice and draw a card from the deck or the meadow. Hedgehogs, if I do not gain um, berries, when I place a worker on a basic or forest action, I gain a berry. When placing a construction, I may trade two berries to replace one good. Um, that's actually pretty good. Looking at the board, there are no berry spots at all in the forests out here. And that is actually a little unusual. So I'm, I'm going to be desperate for berries. I know I'm going to want to do these uh, spots that give me uh, those pebbles and resin. That's a very common spots because they're more scarce than wood and berries generally um so i this is a nice one and I, I like that one but i think i'm gonna go with the hedgehogs okay let's see what we got here um all right let's see what i want to aim to do any of those in the field we're looking for the lookout the minor mole the monastery and the wanderer no None of them are out pictured that I can tell. In, there's the monastery, chapel, lookout. So I have one from each. So I wanna to look to build those and hope that I can draw. Um, I'm gonna play out my cards over here when I do play them so you can see them. I'm kinda of hanging off the edge, so just part of my reach when I'm over there. So uh, what do I wanna go for? Well, the end's nice. Because if I place that, I can place a critter out there and pay three fewer. But it has to be from the meadow. So I'm not that eager because there's two in my hand I want to play. Lookout and Monastery. So I know I want to go for those. And they're both the same cost. So I'll have to mix it up. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a spot on the board 
this round at least that I can get two of the same two of these goods it's all scattered so that will take three actions just to do that I'm not a huge fan of that um, what other options do I have I may pay up to two goods to gain an equal amount of goods. Gain an equal amount. Yuck. Gain an amber. Gain one berry after you play. Well, that would be nice. Gain one berry after you play critter. I want to go for that. Um, the general store, do I have that? Okay, for some reason that was ringing a bell. All right. So, slow start. I'm just trying to see what... Because you only have two actions in this first season. So, it is very um, tight, especially. And you know what? I only have two workers in the next season. In this game, I don't get any workers in the spring. So, usually you do. But not in this. It is harsh. Okay. I like doing these because I at least get something back from them in uh, the season. I'm gonna go here first. I'm gonna go here and get a couple resin. And like I said, he doesn't have an action. Um, what for his name? Rugwort. He doesn't have an action, so I just keep going until I have to play something, then he will play right along with me. Um, I think I'll get the three cards in the pebble. One, two, three. Chip sweep. There's a general store. And the wanderer. So that tells me these are the two I want to get to the table, the Wanderer and the, the Monastery. Because in a solo game, they score a little funky. For every special event that I do not achieve, that's three points. That's three points it looks like. Yeah, that's three points for the my opponent. So that's a, that's a, a big swing right there that I can get those. Well, I have enough for the general store. General store. For some reason I thought I wanted the general store, but I don't. Oh yeah, I do. That lets me play the shopkeeper. Yep, 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 I'm gonna play it. All right, general store. I'll play that for a resin and a pebble. Boom, boom. Right there. I gain one pebble, or not pebble, one uh, berry. And if I have a farm in my city, I gain additional one. That is not the case. So right now, I unfortunately have to rely on me not getting a three when I roll this, because now I have to roll to see what Rugwort gets. Please, not a three. Four, okay. So they get the N, which I would be upset about, because I like the N, but I have the N, so cool. Have it, take it, enjoy it. Love you. That gets replenished. All I care about with uh, with Rug Ward, what he takes is the symbol. I don't really care about anything else. That's how Solo works. So I'm just creating decks of those symbols. And I think nothing else matters, as James Hatfield would say. All right, so now I can go ahead and take Shopkeeper because I have the general store, and if you are not familiar with Everdell, um, they belong in the general the general store. So you're supposed to place one of these acorns or whatever that is, and it shows the picture here too, just in case you get one card and not the other. When you have a building or a place to, for uh, to, for them to um, a habitat for them or whatever you want to call it, it'll show right there. So I have to have the habitat in order to get a free critter that belongs there. So there we go, the shopkeeper. So what do they do? Gain one after you play a critter. So from here on out, when I play a critter, I get a berry. Now, that triggered that, so they're gonna get another card to roll. I am playing a, mod, a little variant it added to make it even more challenging. It's called Lucky. So in the book it says, if I roll the same number that was previously rolled, they get a victory point. So I don't want a four, essentially. Six. Okay. So this one's gone. And they have taken that one. The other one comes out. 
and it's back to me. I have both my workers out there. I have a resin and a berry left, which isn't gonna do me much. I have the innkeeper, but I'd rather just play the inn and go ahead and save my berry. I assigned to two spots, and I gotta remember this. I assigned to two spots that didn't have, yep, that didn't have a berry. So I should have two berries. We place a worker on a basic or force action, gain a berry. If I didn't gain one when I placed a worker there. Okay, well, I should be getting two more of those. Uh, my bad. Maybe I'll keep this over here. All right. So that gives me a little bit more room. Um, what do we have? Oh, a resin refinery. But I need a stone now. I could, and I will. I can spend, because of my ability, I can pay two berries to replace one good. So I'm gonna pay two berries to replace that pebble, and I'll pay this resin to get to the resin fact, the resin refinery. Boom, boom, and boom. Take that, and I'll put that over here. I gain a resin just by virtue of getting that. So I'll take that back. Another one's gonna come out, and I don't wanna roll a six, because that's the last one I rolled. A seven. So actually, the castle that just came out is gone. They have taken it. a seven so I'll keep it there to remind what their previous roll was all right I now have a pebble and a resin with that that was a um, I just placed a common construction so that doesn't help me as far as getting another pebble for playing a critter yeah, look up copy a basic force action Okay, I might pass here. I could do the innkeeper. It's a unique critter. It would be free essentially because it only costs, it only costs, sorry, um, one of those berries and I'll get the berry back because of my shopkeep. When I play a critter, you may discard this innkeeper from your city to decrease the cost by three. Well, do I have something like, I can get the chip sweep then for free. Oh, I can already get it for free because the resin refinery, that is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna play the... Yeah, 100%. All right, I'm playing the chip sweep because I have the resin refinery. So I'm gonna put them right next to it. And they let me activate, I can put an acorn or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, I can activate one of these symbols. So I can either get a berry for free or I can get a, one of these resin. I'll take the resin every time. All right, that's prolonging my first round. Now I have two resin and, oh, and they have to roll. So now I don't want a seven. Three, post office. They now have two of those. card all right all right I have two resin and a and a um, berry I'm gonna pass so I'll get my workers back now this worker goes to the right and this one is supposed to go counterclockwise I remember um, they're gonna get an extra worker that's gonna block off the teacher essentially whatever's in the, uh, the one slot. I don't get an extra worker. I do produce, since it's the first, it's um, spring. So I'm gonna produce, I'm gonna get um, one of these, I'm gonna get one of these, and I can activate another one in my city. I'm gonna have to take another resin. I have four resin now, that's pretty nice. All right, back to me. I do not get a worker because of this solo with Belfair, I believe. So I have a bunch of resin. I don't have a lot of things that require 
like more than one resin. I, I should just go ahead and get the three wood. I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Three wood. I could go over there and get a, a card as well and do it. But no, I'm good with three wood. I don't need the card. Three wood. Okay. I definitely need a pebble. I can build this in. I will. I'm gonna build the in for two wood and a resin. Oh, and I get a berry because I did an action that didn't have a berry. So two wood and a resin. And now I have a spot to play a critter um, or play a, a worker, and whenever I do that, I can uh, play a critter or construction from the meadow for three fewer goods. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. That is done, so they're going to roll. Seven. It was three last time, so that's okay. They now have two of those. I have to be on the lookout. I have three, so okay, it needs four. Those are those special ones, okay? All right, got it. The husband, okay, I don't have a farm out there. All right, the end. Let's see, I have a lot of resin. I still have three resin. I have one wood, I'm gonna need a pebble. Maybe I will do that now. Three cards and a pebble. I have five cards in my hand. There's an eight card limit. I'm gonna draw three. I'll get a berry and a pebble because I didn't gain, gain a berry from that spot. And now I'm pretty loaded with resources. So what do I wanna do? Um, well, maybe I should start looking at doing one of these goals up here. Monastery Wonder, uh, the Minor Mole is still not out. Let's see if I happened to draw it. I did not. Okay. These two I want to get out in play. Copy and paste. I'm going to do this one because I know I can get these out here. Okay. So I am going to trade in a wood, a resin, and a pebble. And I'll play out the monastery. Alrighty. And because I did that, they roll. Seven was their last one. Four. Ooh, they're getting close to the flower. They just need um, this one right here, the brown one. I just need those cartographers, all right? And then they can claim that eventually. All right, back to me, this card comes back. A monk would be played for free if I happen to have that. I do not. And I can do that innkeeper like I said. And that's actually pretty good because when I play a critter, I get a, another berry. I have a bunch of berries then, jeez. But it's not that great. It decreases the cost by three of berries. Well, I'm getting berries left and right, so I don't care much for that, actually. The lookout is what I care about, the wanderer. So I care about that. Can I do this? I could, but it wouldn't be efficient. I would spend all my resources except for one resin and I can do the lookout and I would get that too. The Wanderer. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So, the reason I'm gonna do it is because I already have the Monastery. I would get the Wanderer even by virtue of the lookout, which I need the lookout anyway if I want the Minor Mole. So let's do that. I'm gonna get the lookout, 
which will give me the Wanderer for free. So I am playing the lookout. I have to spend four berries. Wait, can I do this one at a time? It seems like it. It says when playing a construction, you may, may pay two berries to replace one good. Well, I would think I can pay four berries too to replace two goods. It doesn't say limit one. So I'm gonna assume I can just load up with berries and pay. So four berries and it replaces two goods. It'll be a pebble and a wood. So I only owe this now. And the lookout is now built. And because of that, well, first, first things first, I have to roll for them because I just built something. Eight. That gives them three of those. I need to get there before them, but I don't have any workers, unfortunately. Dang. All right. So that was a unique construction that doesn't help me in any fashion right there. Okay. And then I can play... The Wanderer for free. I draw three cards when I play them. Play that there. So I'm drawing three cards. One, two, three. Gonna roll and hopefully not draw, uh, roll an eight. It's a three. Ooh, they're really loading up with that. They have four of the symbol for the Grand Tour event. Okay. That is a common critter over there, so when I play a critter, I do draw a card. Or not a card, I get a berry. Okay. I think I might pass now. I have one resin and one berry. The only thing I can really play is the uh, innkeeper, which I don't even care about. Alright, I will have to pass since I don't have any workers. Alright. In this phase, I do not get a additional worker. Let's see. What was I supposed Yeah, I do get one. Okay, good. I get one, and I can draw two from the meadow, but I actually cannot because I have eight, I believe. Or do I have seven? I have eight, so I cannot draw. They get another worker out, so they're gonna block the peddler. They're gonna move here and here. I'm in trouble with that. Am I? One, two, three. I'm competitive. They have four, I have three there. Okay. All right, we are good to go. Into the next round. I do not get any of these bonuses in the summer. I will get them in the autumn. So we are good for next round. I need to draw. All right, what's my what's my strategy now? I can start claiming these. So I have this. I'll claim it. So that costs a worker. I get three VP for each of my workers in the monastery. So I do want a, a monk because that will unlock a second. Oh, that's interesting. I want to do it at the end of the game, because I lose those. It says, the worker stays there permanently, so I want to do it last round. Okay. I'm not worried about it now, then. Okay. And I am now looking for the minor mole, because I'd like to claim that. Four unique critters, five common critters. Let's see how what shape I'm in there. Common critters, I have one, two... And I have one unique critter. So, one, two, wow, not a lot. I can hold 15 cards, I have eight. So now I'm looking at common critters. Well, I don't see a farm. I would like to put a farm out so I can put, put the husband out. Um, what do we have? What other buildings? Innkeeper, monk, no. Okay, let's see. Just looking through my cards here. The Undertaker. All 
already have a general store. I already have a lot of those. How about the theater? Do I have a bard? Barge toad. Peddler. Um. I may discard cards from my hand. For every two I discard, I gain a good. I might do that. I'm not too impressed with what I have going in my hand. Um, I don't want that. I don't care about the Undertaker either. The Minor Mole. I didn't. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see I had it. That's good for me. The Lookout's already there. I don't have a mine, do I? I don't, and I don't see one out there. But I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna need three of those. Okay. Um, let's go. I'm gonna put a worker here to get two berries. That will go down here. So two berries. Then I can spend three berries to put out the minor mole. Three berries. Then I can take that. When achieved, you may place up to three wood there. So I'm gonna wanna load up on wood first. I don't think I'm gonna think about this too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and get three wood with my last worker. So I know I can, whenever I wanna do that, I can put three wood. Um, and that gives me a, a berry. Also, that is a common critter, so I get another berry. Oh, by the way, when we switched the rounds, they got this one, so I don't have to worry about that. I have nine, they should be getting one now. They have four, six, seven, eight, so they should get one. Six. Those. I'm actually thinking about passing now, even though I have, you know, stuff, I don't want to give them another chance to get one of these. I get another one of any of those, they can get it. Yeah, I think the smart play in a solo is just a pass right here. So I'm gonna do that and force them to earn it another way. I'll get my workers, I'm gonna get these as well, because this is gonna be the last season, it is autumn. They are gonna go ahead and move back here and here. And they get two out there. Boom, boom. Let me make sure this is right, where the way I'm moving them. Um, this is a little middle curve. In autumn, remove his worker from the third forest location. Instead, place it on the three victory point. Okay. Wait, what? During spring, yeah, we got that. Move his work from the three to the two resin. Okay, it should have been here. So I messed that up. During the summer, move his worker to the one pebble location. Should have been there. Wow, they didn't make it straight forward. They were jumping all around. During autumn, move his worker from the or to the one berry, one card location. One berry, one card. One berry, one card. And then in autumn, remove his worker from the third forest location and place it instead on the three point. See, well, it says during autumn, move his worker to the one berry. Hmm. Which worker?
Okay, that's this one. This one goes here. All right, now we're good. All right, to me, I am going to... What is that? Copy one of those opponent? I mean, come on. Do I copy one of those? I mean, I didn't think any of that mattered. You know, they only have those two. So I may pay two goods to gain an equal amount of goods. Okay. I might get rid of the berries. I have so much that requires berries. So much. I know I need a pebble. Well, actually, I don't know that. So I'm gonna go there. I need the three wood, which I can easily get back. No problem. What do I want out here? Nothing really. Well, this is nice. You can pay three. This one's nice. I might go for the doctor. I don't have like enough spots. Or I wanna take a bunch of spots. I might go for that doctor though. It's four VP and I can trade three berries for another VP. Oh, for three, yeah. The doctor is a good one. Do I have the university? I don't, I just have the chapel. Okay. Am I in getting that? So I'm gonna want berries. All I need is one technically, so I can go to the inn and decrease the cost by three. So I'm going to trade a berry. That's it. I'll trade a berry for a pebble. Okay. Now I will go to the inn and I will acquire the doctor for three less. So the doctor is coming with me. No. I may pay up to three. Okay, so I actually want three berries when I do that. Hold on here. I am not gonna do that trade. I want the berries. So I need two more berries. Unfortunately, I used that. Okay. New plan. I will get rid of these to get two berries. Now we're talking, now we're talking. All right, that's what I was doing. And that was because of this action. Now what else do I get? Gain one berry, I don't have a farm, so I don't get any more than that. I should have looked at this. Activate. I'm gonna get a resin. Activate, one, you see. I can get another berry. Bury it up. Bury it up. Okay. Maybe I won't use a worker then. So I got a bunch of berries now. So I'm going to spend four berries for the dock. Oh, um, and he is a unique critter, critter, so I actually get one of those berries back. How many unique critters do I have? I just have a couple, I think. Yeah, I just have two. Okay, and commons, I have one, two, three... I have three. I need five to get that. All right. One of these goes. I don't want to roll a six. An eight. Okay, that's fine. All right, I need to start claiming some stuff. Um, I also need to assign here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and I acquired that, so I spend the three berries. I forgot about that. Three berries for three victory points. All right. And um, I want to assign here. I can give two goods to an opponent, so that's the supply, I assume, to gain four victory points. So I will trade a resin and a wood, and I will get four victory points. Trying to catch up here. Okay. 
got it. All right, I have the lookout and the minor mole, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that as well when achieved. So I actually want to get three wood and then spend a worker to go here. When achieved, put three wood on there. Done. All right, what else can I do? I have two workers left. The only item, my only good at resource I have is one of the resin. Ah, man. Um, I don't have, uh, I don't have all the symbols or even close to it. Actually, what? Oh, yeah, I am close. If I got a purple. I don't have any of those. Uh, okay. I could go here, discard. That might be a good idea. I mean, discard equal to point and get points. So I can go here, discard five cards, get five points. Those will add up. I only have one resin, okay. That is another, well, I don't think that's gonna count as a basic force action or anything like that. So it's not gonna give me anything. I did go here, so I should have got that. Yeah. Is that what I want to do? I think so. I want to trade five cards for five victory points. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards in the discard, five points. All right, I have one worker left. Somehow, if I can get two critters, or is there something better? I discarded. Maybe I'll keep the toad and get rid of the husband. Because then I can build that as well to get wood. Yeah. Gain two wood for each farm in your city. Ugh. There's a critter. And I only have ten. Yeah. I'm going to keep them. I'll get rid of the husband. Okay. Maybe I'll just go with that. Um... I will need, if I'm going to build this, I would have to go for the wood, get two wood, which will give me another pebble, so, and a card, so a card, two wood, a pebble, I keep calling it pebble, a berry. Then I can spend a wood and two berries to make up for that pebble to buy this. And it gains me two wood. Two wood. All right, that's gonna come up first. And we'll see, an eight was my last roll. A six, so that mine, which I was interested in before, before is now gone. It goes here. So now I'm worried about that. One, two, three. I don't have any workers, so they are going to get that. Dang. Price I pay. Ooh, the monk. Oh, man. 
I played, not yet. So I have the twi twig barge so I can play the barge toad. Two wood for every farm in my city. I have zero of those, but I will play that. And they're gonna roll again. Don't want a six, five. Too bad that negative doesn't cost them. They are gonna actually, that's not good for me at all because they just filled out the five there. So they're gonna get a lot of points for this. This is gonna be competitive, I think. Okay. And one comes out. Just because I have no workers, I can't take any of those spots. All right. Oh, a pebble short of doing the chapel. Mm -hmm. Can't do any workers. I can't do any of those. I don't have any of. But I did play, yeah, I should have one berry because I played the barge tub. So I have one berry. That monk could be played for free. You may give two berries to an opponent to gain two VP each. That unlocks a second monastery. That's why I wanted it when I had workers uh, because I get three points for everybody in a monastery. Plus I would get four more points for trading two goods over there. So I really wanted this when I had a worker. Uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. That came out at a bad time. If I were to get that, I wouldn't even be able to do the action because I don't have the pebbles. So I think I would like to just end it here. Even building these, it will help them more, I feel. So I should just cut my losses at this point. Okay. So we have a few things to do here. Um, all right, in the bottom. So we're gonna do some scoring. Two points for each card in his city. Well, he would have the same as me. Now, did I mess that up at the very end or no? So four, I have 12. Four. Eight, 10, 12. Okay, we both have 12. So I'm gonna do his points. Actually, uh, maybe I should do mine. Yeah, I'll do mine. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna count. I have 12 coins. For every three, so there's six. I have 18. That one is worth three, so 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 37, 39. Anything for end game? 39 so far. I think so, 39 right there. Sounds right, 39. Okay, the most of these is gonna be them. So they're gonna, I'm gonna get three. So that puts me at 42 final. I have a pen. 42 for me. No, they have 12. 15, 19, no, no, yes, 22, they have 22 so far, okay, three points for each basic event he has achieved, yeah, yeah, I did that already. 
three points for each special event that I did not achieve, so that's six more. That's about 28. Three points for his worker on the journey. I don't think I gave myself the five, so I should have 47. But they got three more there, so that puts them at 31. Any tokens that I gave them? Okay, so they're gonna get any point tokens. Oh, okay, point tokens. I don't think I gave them point tokens. Give my opponent, nope. Give two goods to an opponent, I've done that. All right. That should be it. Um, basic. That should be it, I don't think I missed anything. So the final there was 47 to 31. I won that handily. I wasn't too sure. Um, Counting all of these, I mean, I knew he was going to get all those, so I was a little worried about that. And plus, I knew I was giving him six points right here, too. So, let's see. I want to double, I want to make sure of everything. They should have 12 cards. And then another 10, so 22. And another 6, so 28. And then I got three from somewhere, right here. That's the 31 that I've counted. Check this again. Two points for each card. Oh, two points per card in a city. Three point. Okay, I better read closer. That's why I destroyed him. All right. So the purple ones score him three points. So these are going to be a what I counted was one, and they're going to be four more than that. So that puts them at thirty-five, and they're scoring two points for the rest. So all these would be a plus ten. That puts them at forty-five. There we go, now it's closer. Now I won 47 to 45. There you go, that is solo, solo time when Vic's gone. It is solo Everdell with the Belfair expansion. Played with a few modules there. So there you go, that's how it works. Hopefully I played it okay, it was my first time playing this. So um, any rules goof, um, sorry about that. But I feel like that was you know pretty close. I may have made one goof somewhere, I don't know. But uh, hopefully it didn't cost me or um, cause me to win. So 47, 45, yay. See you guys later.